Hello everybody, this is Cyprian Johnson, your host. I'm reporting from France. You're listening to Nollywood Broadcasting Service. Now, today I'm in the center of Paris with Justin Njoko, who is the CEO and uh, co-founder of Euroco TV. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um, Justin, I interviewed you through Jessica Hopes. That was three years ago for our magazine. And what you said in that interview was just astonishing. Why? Because you started from nothing and um, I, I used to tell a good number of my friends that Jason Njoko is just like um, a salesman who is in the Sahara Desert who wants to sell sand. There was the Nollywood movie everywhere and look at you, you picked it up and it worked. But how? What's the magic? Tell us more about that. The thing is, I think um, you know, Nollywood is amazing. It was very, very popular before I even recognized it was in its existence. Um, I think the key thing is that um, I just brought a new perspective to it. Um, I looked at the established ways that people were um, distributing the content, and you know, um, I thought the internet should be a part of that. So I basically like um, started started distributing on the internet, and it kind of went from there. Did I know it would become this big company? Like, absolutely not. I, I'm as surprised as anybody else. Um, I think the, the the industry kind of needed like an, an alternative to the existing ways that they were sort of like making um, making their sort of return on their on their movie making. Um, yeah, I, I just happened to be one of the first people to kind of look at it from that perspective. But, you know, since then, many people look to that perspective. So there's much more kind of activity yeah. and competition for, like, online rights than there was previously. So, again, I'm happy to be one of the first, happy to still be in the business. Um, so, yeah, there's fortunate, really. Now, I'm going to ask you one tough question, and we are all worried about that, Jason. It's because there is a man in the um, United States of America who he trademarked um, Nollywood, the word Nollywood. Have you heard about that? We have heard about it. Um, I believe our legal team looked at it. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, what happened with that, though. Um, but I, I know I did. I know it did sort of pique my interest, and we did have my legal team look at it. But I'm not entirely sure where they are with that, so I, I can't really comment on that at the moment. Okay. Now you are now today in this festival. Your presence is very important as a as a um, wonderful player in this um, uh, industry, the Nollywood industry. Nigerian film industry and knowing well is the soft power now of Nigeria. Now you are here you are in this festival for the first time. Why are you here today? You know, I think uh, French speaking Africa is is uh, you know a quarter of a, a quarter of a billion people. Um, very vibrant, many countries and cultures and you know for whatever reason they've embraced Nollywood and I think that re that makes me really, really um, excited because it kind of shows how far you know um, you know Nollywood has gone beyond the sort of like the the, the Nigeria country. So for me it's like um, anywhere which recognizes that you know Iwoko has always tried to be involved. Uh, you know Serge is a, is, a, is a personal friend of mine. Um, he has always asked me to come uh, for the last few years. I, I haven't come. Now I'm here. So yeah, it's great, almost like great. Serge tells me to come and I come. We are happy. We are really happy to see you. Just one private um, question is, which is open because our listeners are going to listen to this. Um, your people working for you in Nigeria contact our radio for partnership. Are you aware of that? Yeah, you know, I think um, we know we're part of a community. Yeah. Um, we are. We just hired some community um, executives, and we're reaching out to everybody. So, um, essentially, we're like, look, we're part of a community. We're not like an island. Uh, we want to kind of, you know, work as as as, as positively we can with that community. So, absolutely, like, it's part of a it's part of a of a, of a of a strategy for us to not just be like Iwoko. Everyone doesn't really yes, know what yes, we do. It's, it's just like let's. It's a family. It's a family. Like, yes, yes, we yes. all have Nollywood. That's the gel which brings us together. So it's really important that we kind of like amplify that if we can. And the last question, not to take much of your time. You're a very busy man. Now, what can you say about the only unique radio? We, we don't go on images at all. We're collecting sound. We sound, you know, talks because we don't want these talks to just evaporate and nobody says, ah, Africa is an oral uh, tradition and so on. We've got so many uh, podcasts and so on on Nollywood because the, this is my thought here. So what can you say to encourage us to help our radio? What can you say about the Nollywood Broadcasting Service? <laughs> well, I think, um, again, 
it's one of those things where it's a question of people um, people understanding you know, what you're doing. It's a question of the community. If the community knows more, then they will participate more. Obviously, coming to these kind of events is great because you get to know me and you interview me, what, three years ago or two years ago even. Um, and the thing is that, like, Nollywood is entertainment, but there's also a, a business behind that. And I think, um, you know, I was speaking on a panel and it became apparent that there's, like, a lot of... There's a lot of miscommunication around like what the nature of the industry is, what the challenges are, what the struggles are. Um, I think more and more of those kind of conversations will help build like a stronger Nollywood, yeah. which will then create better quality content, which will then make more people fall in love with it. So I think it's you know, you're part of that kind of business community and yeah, sort of like communication community, sort of like helping not just the the fans but also like the the, the, the stakeholders yeah. um, just become better informed. And I think that's super duper important. So just one word for Nollywood Broadcasting Service. Just to say, listen to Nollywood Broadcasting Service. I'm just that, that that's going to. We will not ask you for any money. Just say that for us, please. Listen to Nollywood. That's going to help us. So my name is Jason Njoku, and I implore you, I beg you, you must listen to uh, Nollywood Broadcasting Service. Thank you very much. You're wonderful, and continue. We're very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.